Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 2010 Serbian horror movie, name a Serbian film. So, let's begin. Milos, a retired porn star, is now married to a beautiful lady, Maria and has a son, Petr. One morning, Maria catches Milos watching one of his old clips with Petr, she gets angry at him and warns him never to do such again, and he says it's because he got a call from his former colleague, Layla, and he wants to see his old self. As Maria takes Petr away, Petr asks her what his father is watching, and she tells him it's an adult game played by mature people. She goes to play with her kid while Milos continues his video before she comes to ask him for Petar's singing fee. He gives her the money, and he is concerned about their financial status. He goes to meet Layla at a bar. As she arrives, she asks about his son. He informs her that Petr will soon start school, and she laughs at him about what Petr will say when asked about his father's profession. He replies that he is a retiree. She asks him if he has enough money slashed in his bank to Carter for all his needs and if they won't get broke. She offers him an opportunity to eternal funds that provide for all Petar's needs till he dies and tells him that if he wants such an opportunity, he will receive a call from a man called Vukmir, and he should grab the opportunity. On the other hand, his brother, Marco, looks at them. He later sits with them and touches Layla, calling her a slut. He asks her if she has done surgeries on her body, but she replies otherwise and attempts to kiss him. He falls for her attempt, and she bites him deep on his lips before leaving the table. Milos returns home, and he and his wife pet Petr to sleep. Petr asks them the second time what Milos was watching and says that when he watched it, he felt something swinging on his body like family. Maria tells him it happens to everyone, and he should think about what he felt, and he will feel sleepy. He tries it, and it works. Milos and Maria return to their room. Milos plays one of his porn discs, and they talk. He tells her about Layla's offer, but he says he wonders who will offer him, a retiree, such an amount of money just for a porn video. She encourages him that probably the owner wants something special. She asks him if he misses acting porn, but he replies otherwise. However, he accepts that he misses the money, and he wants something so much that he can start a new life. Maria asks why he doesn't have fun with her the same way he does with the girls in his video, and he replies it's because he loves her, and he doesn't love the other girls. She asks for him and slaps him to control him, he gives her what she wants, and they rest. The following day, he receives a call from Vukmir, who hails him as the biggest porn star in the city and tells him that if he wants an opportunity that will change his life, he will see a car in his house in 30 minutes, and he should take the car. Without knowing his destination, he takes the car, and the car stops at an apartment. Vukmir comes to welcome him. He shakes and holds his hands, saying it's a heroic hand that has touched a brave dick. He welcomes him to the room where he meets Layla. He serves them drinks and tells them porn is art. To buttress his points, he says porn is an art of living like every other art, but people do not see it because they want to jerk off. As this conversation continues, Layla keeps trying to touch him, but he removes her hands. However, Vukmir says not all porn stars have the ability to create art, and not all are artists except him. And that is why he is inviting him to create a craft with him, an art so original and real, just like everyday living. Milos says he is tired of cameras and that lifestyle, and Vukmir calls for the contract document. He tells Milos to read the number in the contract and asks him to sign. Milos hesitates, he says that he doesn't know the role he is to play or what porn is, and he has to know before signing, but Vukmir tells him that if he knows the role, it will spoil the fun. He leaves without signing the contract document and then goes to drink at home. He returns to Maria after she has laid their son to bed, she asks him about the contract, and when he tells her the price, she instantly asks him if he has signed it. He tells her he refuses because he wants to know if she is with him for money. Jokingly, she replies that if she is with him for money, she would have gone for his brother, Marco. The following day, he goes to sign. While he signs and works out a little, Marco visits his home. He tries to talk with Maria about her translation job and looks at her seductively. He looks at her as she takes a bite of an apple and asks him if he wants it. He takes the question further in his mind and replies, yes, but when she gives him the apple, he says all he wants is feminine touch. She asks him to call any of his girls, but he says he wants something like she has with Milos. He goes to masturbate in her toilet while thinking of her. Milos, on the other hand, takes a jog around the compound. As he returns, he sees Vukmir seeing off some bald men. When Vukmir returns, he asks him what the job is about, but Vukmir says he doesn't have to know, and everything has been planned, he has to go to work and do his thing. Three days later, the filming starts. He is driven by a one-eyed man who takes him to an orphanage. He uses an earpiece where he gets instruction from Vukmir as to what he should do. As he enters the orphanage, he sees a lady. 
The lady comes to him seductively and touches him while he plays along. They walk towards a staircase where he sees a little girl crying. The girl's mother comes to carry her and starts maltreating her. The lady he saw first goes to fight for the girl and eventually releases her from her mother's grip. Then comes back to Milos. Milos goes back home after that scene and sleeps. On his next day at work, he enters a dark room with the mother, and she starts kissing him and goes to suck his private part. He plays along, but at this point, he gets suspicious of the Vukmir. He returns home and calls Marco, who is getting a blow job, while watching videos of Maria, that he should help him research about Vukmir and find out what he does. He also calls Layla to ask her what she knows about the project, but Layla says she trusts Vukmir, and there is nothing that should be too difficult for Milos to do for money. Maria returns with Petter, and they meet Milos drunk at home. Petter jokingly hit Milos, and he remembers what he did on that day. In his next scene, the mother gives him a blowjob while the daughter Jekka watches. Vukmir asks him to hit the lady and force her more, and when he refuses, he asks one of his securities to strangle Vukmir until he does what he should do. As he finishes that scene, he tells Vukmir he doesn't ever want to do a scene that deals with beating a woman or maltreating a woman in front of a young girl. He insists that if he had known about the script, he wouldn't have taken the job. He returns home and asks Marco for the information. Marco tells him all he found is that Vukmir worked as a psychiatrist at an orphanage sometimes before, and he also works with social security. There is no history of him ever directing a movie, but Marco says if there is someone to trust, it's Vukmir since he is related to the securities. That night as Milo sleeps, he dreams about all he has done and at this point, he decides to stop. Maria advises him to resign on call, but he says it will be best if he goes to tell them physically. He gets to Vukmir, who offers him a drink and says the new porn should he like art, so that's what he is asking. He shows him a video of pornography where a doctor helped a woman in labor immediately after he was born. He screams that those types of porn are newborn porn. Angered by what he has watched, he walks out immediately and drives away. However, he has been drugged. He meets Vukmir's doctor on the way, and she seduces him and takes him back. He wakes up on his bed about three days later, and he is blank about what he has done. He goes to urinate, and his urine is red. He leaves for the orphanage home, and on his way, he remembers some of what happened, like when the doctor took him to Vukmir and they confirmed he had been drugged with Viagra, but he can do all he is instructed. He sees a cassette of his acts and watches it. He sees when he brutally raped and molested the mother until he carried an axe and killed her. He also watches where one of the securities raped him from behind and sees where Layla tries to complain about how they had made him a lifeless chicken. She complains that if they have cut off his son's ear or something, he would have corporate, and Vukmir isn't an artist, and she is taking Milos away. In the next clip, he sees that they have caught her and a masked man comes to shove his dick into her mouth till she suffocates. They take him to Jekka's grandma's home, where the grandma asks him to take Jekka. He refuses and threatens to cut off his dick, then jumps off the window. He goes to a supermarket where he sees a pretty girl and jerks off while looking at her. Some men attack him, but Vukmir gets to him again and takes him away, calling him his he-goat. He is taken to the warehouse, where the doctor attempts to inject him again, but he takes the injection and shoves it in her throat. He is taken to another room where he is asked to have sex with a masked person, and the masked man from Layla's time has sex with another. After the sex, Vukmir removes the mask, and it turns out the masked man is Marco, and the person he is having sex with is Maria, while his partner is Petr. Vukmir comments that it is the real Serbian family. The doctor from earlier drags herself to the room showing how she has kept a metal pipe in her Virginia due to the injection. During the distraction, Milos attacks Vukmir while Maria bites off Marco. Milos takes a gun and shoots everyone. He shoves his bloody dick into the driver's mouth before he leaves with his family. He cries as he remembers all that has happened, then goes to meet his family and takes a gun to kill himself, but Maria suggests they should die together. They all lie on the bed as they shoot the bullet through each other. At the movie's end, the bald man prepares for another video shoot where he comments, starts with the little one. And the movie ends here. So I hope you enjoy the video. So click any video of three them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching see you soon.